Hey guys, Potates here. This video is highlighting some more awesome things about Monolith's new game, Middle Earth Shadow of War. As always, if you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. Enjoy! Potate! In the open world, you will come across all prisoners and slaves tied up or subjugated like this poor little Olog here. If you free them though, they will gladly turn against their captives. Just look at him go. That is the smile of freedom. We all know orcs have unique abilities and skills, but did you know they can also have spells? Orcs with the necromancer trait can resurrect zombie orcs to fight for them. How cool. Yes, rise. Good. Do it. Fancy a new way of killing? Jump on the back of an Olog. Stab him continuously in the back as he swings away at your foes. Lots of fun. We know poison was changed in Shadow of War, but this is an extreme case of being poisoned. As we can see, these orcs explode into a poisonous cloud when they die, and they leave behind that cloud similar to the poison cloud ability in Shadow of Mordor. How they were infected though is unclear right now, but my guess is it's a unique trait that orcs can have. Yeah, walking through this minefield seems smart. In my last video, I showed how you can summon in a Karagor or a Graug as a mount and a battle partner. We now see that the particular talent you need to skill into has three paths. One for a Dire Karagor, two for a Graug, and three for a Drake. Yes, once you meet certain requirements, you can summon yourself your very own Drake. Why would you go with a Dire Karagor then? Well, because it's stronger than a regular Karagor, it's fire resistant, and it can summon back up. In Shadow of War, you can place a spy within an enemy's fortress. However, the Overlord can detect that spy and kill them. I call myself a sneaky spy. I was going to cut him slowly. I don't have the patience. The shadows are gathering! The darkness draws near! The so-called Bright Lord will be snuffed like a candle! And his minions lost in a night! An impressive display! How unfortunate for him that that was not our spy! <laughs> Orcs have a wide range of abilities that make killing them a nightmare. Before assaulting a keep, be sure to check out the Overlord's abilities. If he has poison weapons, for example, his fortress will be poison themed. 
Same thing applies to placing your own overlord in a fortress. Make sure you pick an orc with the abilities you want your fortress to have. For example, this orc has cursed weapons and there seems to be a curse spewing out from the grates in his throne room. Keep an eye out for this psychopath right here. Who knew fighting in a dress could be so easy? Not every skill has to be about killing, it can be indirectly about it. War Banners is an ability that the Orc Commander class can get. It will spawn and command a banner carrying Orc to plant it, which inspires their troops into a frenzy. Destroy it to remove the effect. But, as one they fear, in their tongue, he's Bovakin, Dragonborn. It seems that some areas and regions will have elemental themes. Orcs can shoot flaming arrows in fiery areas, and Graugs will be molten. You wouldn't think so, but there is animation for Graug versus Graug combat. Wait for it. Wait for it. Counted. In my last video, I showed that you can summon a bodyguard to your side and command them. What we didn't see is that ability can be modified another two ways. One is to summon in a cluster of spiders which attack and poison enemies in your area. And the final one calls in three Gondorian human soldiers to attack your enemies for you. I don't know about you guys, but why would I call in Tarks when I can call in an Olog or some Spiders? In Shadow of Mordor, some enemies were extremely hard to kill because they were in a gang and had backup. Now, with the Shadow Strike Pull ability, you can isolate the Orc you want to kill or brand without his friends getting in your way. We have seen some really cool looking orcs in Shadow of War already, but come on this orc. He beats things to death with a loot axe, it doesn't get much cooler than that.
It seems the singer and the bard suffix can have this particular weapon. Look at those abilities. He really is a bard. In my last video, we talked about loyalty. If your orc's loyalty is high enough, he can actually appear and save you right before you get finished off. To raise an orc's loyalty, you have to have them participate in missions, make sure you don't let them bleed out and die, and generally be a nice guy. You're my hero, Azulgar. Can we just stop and talk about the fact that orcs can throw bombs now? This skill seems to be unique to the class of orc called the Destroyer. In Shadow of Mordor, we've all had the situation where an orc we just killed came back from the dead and ambushed us. Now, in Shadow of War, it seems like our allies can also come back from the dead. Thank God. Welcome back, Headless Pain Seeker. In Shadow of War, everything seems to have gotten bigger, including the amount of animations Orc have. Just look at these cool abilities. Savage.
we finally get to look at what kind of upgrades you can purchase for the fourth slot of your assault force. It seems like you can choose between longer range archers, flaming archers or archers that ride caragors for more distance covered. We all know Explosive Shot was the most powerful ability an archer type or could get, but now it seems like hunters can get that ability as well, and frankly, I'm kind of scared. Depending on how they die, orcs can come back from the dead. In this case, if they die via flies, they can become the maggot nest, which just looks disgusting. Like I mentioned in the last video, when you shame an orc, they have a chance of becoming deranged, which actually makes them stronger rather than weaker. Yeah, just look at him go. 